this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was. Then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. And of course, Paul, how did he get to Britain? Right. Because he got acquainted with Caracas, and after seven years, Caracas was allowed to go home as a, a pro, pro He's on, almost like house arrest. Right. He had to promise not to ever take up arms against Rome again, and he went back home. And obviously, he invited Paul to go with him. And that's how Paul got to Britain. And we have evidence, uh, records of Paul uh, speaking to the Druids. And one of the places he spoke was a hill called Mount Ludd. Right. And on Mount Ludd, he made a prophecy and that uh, kings and uh, prophets would, people would come and worship God on this mount. And that is where St. Paul's Cathedral is built today in England, right on that mount where he spoke to the Druids. Now, Mr. Cap, one of the subjects we haven't touched on very much at all is uh, St. Paul in Britain. Now, I've, I've got the Bible here in front of me, and it says that uh, there was an Ephesian Christian who accompanied Paul to Europe. And it's interesting that it says that because a lot of people aren't aware of the Christian faith going into Europe and, again, with the uh, Gentilized, paganized Israelites who were already there and Jesus said he's going to bring them back under the bonds of a new covenant in Hebrews chapter 8 and verses 8 through 10. But I want to share with you this scripture verse here in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 21. This is Paul's closing words in uh, Timothy. Here's what he says, quote, Do thy diligence to come before winter, Eplurius greeteth thee, and Pertens and Linus and Claudia and all the brethren. Now this verse has some great significance to it, and I'd appreciate if you just share with us some of your thoughts on what we've just read here. Well, this when he wrote the letter describing the friends of his in Rome, and some people think he never got to Rome by that time. He had definitely been there. Now the name you mentioned, uh, Pertens and Claudia, uh, I have to go back a little bit. When Caradoc, or Caracacus as the, English, the uh, Romans called him, was captured by the Romans in the wars in Britain, he was taken to Rome as a hostage with all his family. And among his family was his daughter, Claudia. Claudia. Only her name was Gladys in those days. The Bible, the history, Roman history is Gladys. And Linus was her brother. Those are relatives of the children of Caradoc or Caracacus. Now, during the wars, they've been going on for quite a few years between the Britons and the Romans. They had a truce one time. And during that truce, Claudius, uh, Gladys, I'll call her Gladys, married Rufus Pudens. And some, other, some of the royal family intermarried. And very, very strange. Now, Pudens was a general in the army fighting uh, Caracacus. And the last, you'd never think of them ever getting together in marriage. They did. Now, you mentioned it said that uh, Pudens, his mother and mine. Now, we try to tell somebody that Pudens is a half-brother of uh, P uh, Paul. Right. They laugh at you. And yet... <laughs> That's what this is. He said, he said, my mother, your mother, mine. Now, Paul's mother uh, hadn't been married before, and uh, so her husband's name, I can't recall right now, but we have a record of that. And so they were married, and their children, in, uh, later in marriage, became the nieces and nephews of Paul. And their home is where Paul spent his time in doing his confinement. Uh, called the House of the Britons, Palace of the Britons. Where was this located now? In Rome. 
in Rome. Now they have found the foundations was identified some years ago, and of course a building built, built on top of it now. But the location is found, and some years ago, 10 or 15 years ago, there's a plaque there that said this is the home <laughs> where Paul stayed, the Palace of the Britons. Now when he, uh, he, was, had, he was a, a captive, and instead of killing him, like they did most of them, and put him in prison, he stood up in the, uh, the, 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 in the Senate to uh, make declaration, and his daughter, my, uh, Gladys, stood up with him. Now, as far as we can find out, it's the first time a woman was allowed to speak before the, the Senate in Rome. And she made an impassioned plea for her father, and she d defied him. Now, at that time, Claudia, uh, Claudius was the emperor in Rome at that time, Claudius. And he admired the smoke of this young girl. So much so, he adopted her as his daughter and changed her name to Claudia. So when the Bible mentions Claudia, that's the name that Claudius gave her. And so her aunt was also a prisoner. She was a, she was a very bold lady. And she very was. Bold. And they describe her in the, describe in the record, very beautiful girl. Yes. And she stood up for her father. And the father, he, he defied him. He said, what glory you have killing me? Let me live and Rome will get credit for being you know, that war. He, he caught me by treachery. He didn't get me by war. Because his, one of his relatives uh, double-crossed and turned his name over and where he was located to the Romans. That's how he was captured. It's a marvelous story. And uh, with this is having to do with Paul's relatives and family and friends. Yeah. Now, when Paul, when Paul uh, got acquainted, of course, with Cracus, and by the way, uh, Gladys was a Christian, and Cracus' father was Bran the, Bran the Great. He was a Christian. Now, at that time, Caradoc or Cracus was not a Christian yet, but his family were Christians and were taken to uh, Rome. Now, you might be wondering how they get become Christians. Uh, because uh, Joseph Arimathea and his people are the ones that introduce Christianity to these people. Oh, okay. Caradoc's brother was the king of Aragus, mm -hmm. and he's the one that gave Joseph Arimathea the twelve hides of lamb. This is the Doomsday Book in England. So that's how Christianity actually came to Rome from Britain. <laughs> <laughs>